I don't have too much to say about these shoes, but of course I have a story behind my purchase as always. Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, back another day with an unboxing. Uh, I'm not in my sneaker room as usual because it's very messy there. So I'm doing the unboxing here and I don't have too much to say about these shoes, uh, as I said, but I have a story behind them, sort of. As you have noticed, I only wear high top basketball shoes. But I was so happy with um, Air Max 3 Infrared, the Recraft. So I decided to look up some more pairs of shoes. And the thing was that last year they released a couple of cool colors that I thought was only for, for female or grade school, small sizes. And I decided to look up the, the pink pair, not this one the pink pair and uh, they were on sale everywhere except my size my size were sold out and I have had my eyes on those shoes for, for a while but as I said I thought it were female only and every time I googled Air Max 90 pink these came up but the name for these are vast gray uh, so I ended up buying the pink ones on stock X and uh, I bought these from Beeston, B-S-T-N they are called, Beeston and uh, after I bought them I, for no sale, no nothing at all I saw that they were much cheaper on stock X actually so uh, the pair that were on sale in size 13 they were on sale but not size 12 I, did, I ended up paying resale for on StockX and these that were not on sale are actually pretty cheap on StockX I think I paid probably 170, 180 euro uh, with shipping and on StockX they go for 100 dollars maybe uh, kinda nice shoe they are pink but not too much you can still like wear them casually they don't pop up uh, and then they are gray the beige is suede the gray and the pink swoosh are leather and uh, the rubber uh, leather and the leather, leather leather pink are matching sorry the rubber pink and the leather pink are matching so that's good they don't always do that on shoes so uh, they look kind of small, but they should be true to size. Let's put them on. And uh, yeah, happy Valentine's. They are actually not true to size. They are very narrow, very small. I should have gone up a full size. So I just realized that the pink ones that I paid resale for on stock X I should have bought the US 13 that were on sale um, yeah very narrow so you should go up a size I'm gonna untie them as much as I can but still I'm pretty sure that they will be too narrow if you don't have wide feet you could probably set up with we're going up half a size but for me I would like them a full size up but uh, good looking shoes thanks for watching I hope the lighting was okay even in my living room and uh, please subscribe comment thumbs up thanks I have an update um, after wearing them all day they are not too small actually I've loosened the laces a lot um, and yes I could go up half a size just for that comfortable feeling but if you don't have problem with uh, wide feet they should be true to size
and you know what I did? I have already ordered myself a pair of US 13 uh, of the other pink ones. And of course they were not on sale anymore. So now I'm gonna have them in US 12 and US 13. But um, used to clarify, if you have wide feet in this part as I, uh, you could go up half a size if you want that comfortable fitment. If you want a snug fitment, that jogging fitment, they are true to size. And if you don't have wide feet, they are true to size. Uh, so you could almost ignore that whole other thing where I complain about the fitment. Uh, 